Salam everyone, welcome to Daring Dean Vlog. I had another question for Sheikh Imran Nazar Hussain, and the question um, was in the hadith in Sahih Muslim, it is mentioned that after the conquest of Constantin Constantinople, while the Muslims are dividing their spoils, having hung their swords on the olive trees, Shaitan will shout out among them, The Messiah Dajjal has taken your place among your families. So they will march towards Dajjal, but these words of the shaitan will be false. When they reach Syria, Dajjal will emerge. So it seems like shaitan is helping Dajjal. What is the relationship between Iblis shaitan and Dajjal? I think this uh, uh, question is quite important because we know that something uh, is going on between uh, shaitan and Dajjal. Uh, Dajjal is sh somehow controlling the jinns. So there must be a, some kind of relationship between them. So how does Dajjal control Shaitan or does Shaitan control Dajjal? Either way, um, we should ask the expert. I should also mention that this particular hadith, where it mentions that um, after the um, conquest of Constantinople, Muslim will be dividing the spoils and uh, Shaitan will come in human form and mislead the people and give false information regarding the Jal. This, this particular conquest is known as the, uh, the last conquest of Constantinople and there would not be any other conquest after that because um, following this event uh, will be the, uh, the emergence of the Jal. In a hadith in Sahih Muslim um, regarding the conquest of Constantinople, um, at, towards the end of that hadith, it, it says, after the Muslims win the war, Satan will shout out uh, among them, the Messiah Dajjal has taken your place among your families, so they will march towards Dajjal, but these words of the Satan will be false. When they reach Syria, Dajjal will emerge. So it, it seems like Satan is helping Dajjal in some way. What is the relationship between Iblis or Satan and uh, Dajjal? Iblis is a jinn. Those jinn who follow Iblis are called the Shayateen. Dajjal is not a jinn. But the Jal will have control over the jinn who are shayateen. Okay? Because Allah has placed the jinn under the control of Suleiman. Wa'akarina mukarranina fil aswad, says the Quran. These jinn have are obliged, they are commanded by Allah to work for Suleiman. And when the Jassad sits on the throne instead of Suleiman, holding on to the staff of Suleiman, and the jinn do not know that this is not Suleiman, this is Iblis, I mean, this is Dajjal, they don't know this. So they continue working for Dajjal. So there's a direct link between Dajjal and the Shayateen, that they all work for him and will continue working for him, despite the fact that he is an evil being and he's asking them to do evil things. They, they, have, they have this, they have this uh, incapacity to recognize that this is uh, not Suleiman. Incapacity. So the answer to your question is perfectly clear. The Dajjal has the shayateen working for him and they are bound to work for him. If they stop working, Allah will punish them. They're working for him because they believe he is Suleiman. From the time they know that he is not Suleiman, he's someone else, they don't have to work for him anymore. That event is still to come.